Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, you'll probably see this by what, Thursday? <laughs> hey, y'all, how you doing? I am running late, running late, late, late. Let me tell you how late I am. I was supposed to be at work at 7 o'clock today. Not by the work standards, but by my standards, because I have an appointment today at 4 o'clock. And because of rush hour, because of construction, I need that 30 minutes to get to where I'm going. So, I'm actually going into work saying, hey, I gotta leave at 3.30, regardless if I get here at 7.45 or not. <laughs> For real. Because I'm going to that appointment. I got on my, I have now donned this shirt as my appointment shirt. Every time I go, first thing they do is give me compliments on my top. It's something about the power of blue. I don't know what it is. It's something about this royal blue. But anyway, anyhow, yes, boss lady is dog tired. Yes, ma'am. Why? Let me tell you why. So we were supposed to go out of town yesterday, roughly about one. We should have left around one. Heck, we should have left around 12 to get to where we're going. But husband was detailing his car till like, I don't even know how long. Baby, when you see that, that video and that clip of all those products, he used every single last one of them products for whatever reason. Child, let me tell you. So anyway, we didn't get on the road heading out of here until... Was it after five? You know, was it had to be after six? Well, it must have been about six or so because it was an hour and some change to get to where we were going. And we didn't get there till after seven. We didn't get home till after 10. Baby, and I done told y'all, these road trips, boss lady not here for it no more, honey. I just, I don't know. As much as I love to just get out the city and whatever, we went to go visit friends in a town going towards Iowa. <laughs> yeah. So, and it was nice, you know, got to see him and just kind of know how the family's doing. And I hadn't seen him in forever. Husband's seen him, I think. I can't know. I think it was the first time my husband's seen him too since they moved out there. So, anyway. And while we were out there, we went to the grocery store. And while we were out there, we went to Walmart. And I was like, OMG. So yes, I am beyond tired. Um, but I have an appointment this afternoon, this evening, four o'clock from four to five. Um, I'm not exactly for sure how far away it is, but I know it is a distance from where I'm at. Uh, so yeah so I'll just make my time up you know it's not like I don't have work I just realized I forgot my earrings I did not put a headband on so we just gonna pray that the headband that I have on does its due diligence and doesn't slide back cause lord we don't need you sliding back now sit, sit and stay um but what took me so long I would have been out the door I could have got here for 715 but I was trying to put my nails on First of all, I couldn't find them because I got a couple packs and I was like, okay, well, where are they? Because I want to wear a certain one and da-da-da-da. Okay, I haven't wore, like, press-on nails in forever. Oh, this little cutie, patootie little doggies. <laughs> anyway, now, you know, I glue on nails in a minute, but I want to try, I was like, oh, you know, as opposed to doing the glue, I was going to do the, the stickers. Child, how about two of the ten have stickers? Because when I got to the third finger and I'm up here trying to pull this thing off and it wouldn't come, I don't know how y'all do it. This because these particular nails they don't have like a little tab where you stick the sticker on and you just pull the tab, okay? <sighs> so these two have stickers, all the rest are glued, but these are my nails, and I think they're so pretty. I love the shape. I love the design, the glitter. That's why I wanted to wear them. I want something popping. I didn't want nothing too long, you know, and I didn't bring my file. And I don't know if I got it in my 
purse because I got one or two. Let me see. One. Mm, about three of them that are rough. Because whenever you have nails that's got the glitter on them, sometimes they don't file the glitter. So I always try to, you know, kind of smooth my glitter out at the tips. But anyway, I got these on. I don't know if you can see them because the light. There you go. Yeah. So that's what they look like. I love them. They're pretty. It's 7.33. Child. Whatever. My stomach is on. Thump a thump thump. Thump a thump thump. Right now. <laughs> but I had a great weekend. But see, here's the thing. I try to do what I want to do on the weekend, right? But then I come home and husband's like, but I want to do this and I want to do that. So I can't be like, go ahead. I got to be like, okay. <laughs> and he was like, you know you want to go. So like we went to Walmart because I had never been in that Walmart. But it didn't tickle my fancy. But I did have a guy give me the nod. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I don't know what's been going on this weekend, but child, what boss lady got going on? All these these men's and, and male species giving the nod. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Lord. So, yeah. Anyway, anyhow. But, made to work. I will give more of a in depth once I come out of work on my way to my appointment. And then I'll tell you about the appointment. Hey guys, so I'm in my car, I'm on my break. Um, my stomach is bothering me, I don't know what is going on. But anyway, um, I don't know, maybe it's my nerves. I mean, cause I already, you know, I put in that I need to leave early today. But, like, my stomach is really, really bothering me. Like, my nerves are, like, super bad or something. Um, What was I going to say? Oh, quick update on the nails. So, remember I said I was, you know, kind of running late or running behind because I was doing my nails. So, the two that I put the stickers on, that's the reason why I stopped wearing press-on nails. Y'all, so I put these on roughly about mm, 7.15 this morning. Uh, by 11.15, they were already popping off. Don't nobody got time for that. So I had to literally sit there. Like, one had already knocked loose. The other one was getting loose. I went to the bathroom, washed my hands, boom, they were loose. Like, one, like, seriously popped off on my desk. So I had to sit there and literally scrape, scrape, scrape all the glue off, all the sticker, or not glue, all the sticker piece off, and then glue them on. So now they're glued on. Um, and then while I was sitting here struggling, trying to get the sticker off, then yeah, then I popped another and I was like, oh, uh -uh, we ain't got time for this, Jesus. So, we? so yeah, so now they're all glued on. Um, gosh, I'm so used to the other, uh, style that I had been rocking for the last, you might say month. Um, that now that I have square, I'm like, mm, and I haven't even decided what I'm going, going to rock when I go on vacation. I'm going to try to see if these will last at least until, um, next week and then change them. I have some beautiful nails that I want to rock for vacation. They're long though, but because I won't be typing or whatever, I think, oh, okay, it should be fine. So I'll rock with these at least until then, um, yeah, so that'd be that. That's the update. I'm in my car. It's actually kind of warm outside. Um, but I don't have the windows cracked or anything. I brought some water out with me. I'm actually getting ready to do some other things. Um, there's a video that I've been trying to upload, uh, my Sunday video, and it will not upload. Like every time I try to get it to upload, like something keeps blocking it or whatever. So yeah, upload will be late today. Um, late today, meaning Monday's upload. You probably won't get it till Monday evening, Monday night. So, um, anyway, that'd be that. Uh, other than that, 
I think that's it for now. And the reason why I'm holding the camera as opposed to having it up on the mount is because the way the sun is, it's got that glare. So, you know, I just didn't want that glare. Um, I haven't started using my new camera yet. Like I said, I'm going to test it out, see how it works. And then I might do like, I don't know, maybe something different, something new. And just see if I can get it to work and upload and do what it needs to do, blah, 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 whatever. So, yes, um, I'll be working on that probably. Let's see. Well, today I have an appointment. Tomorrow I have to work after work. Um, so maybe I'll I'll play around with it Wednesday, Thursday, and just see how everything operates or whatever. I was working with um husband's GoPro yesterday and I thought that was really kind of cool. So um I'm in I'm excited to see what what that video looks like because I did some of the the videoing and then he's doing the rest. <clears throat> So he did, I did some, I did the first beginning pieces. I did like two different segments and then he's doing the rest of the segments and then he's going to do a voiceover. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what that video looks like. Cause that GoPro, um, <laughs> yeah, I would love to have one of those. Haven't got to that point yet. I'm going to rock with what I got. Um, cause he wants me to master this new camera first and stop using my phone and then, go on to um something else so we shall see y'all we're just gonna rock and roll you know um i got the ring light at the house i think i might invest in a, a better ring light the one i have is from walmart um and i noticed if i try to record longer than mm, 20 minutes yeah a little over 20 minutes my light goes off like it's like okay enough juice whatever and it goes off so i don't know if it thinks that oh you know um if it thinks that you know power saving i'm not sure um because it did that like after i first got it and i was like what the heck and then next thing you know it worked so but i think because i do shorter videos so i don't know we shall see um but i know that what was what video was it that i did um it was one of my videos I did and I had the ring light going and like right towards the end, it blinked off, but I kept recording. So yeah, it's something to do with the time frame or timestamp and I threw the box away. So I don't know. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and go. Uh, I see one of my coworkers walking. I don't want her to walk up on me while I'm recording. Um, but I have some other things I need to do while I'm sitting here in the car. I think I will, will crack the window while I am working on some other stuff and uh go from there so yeah i'll just see you guys after work on my way to my appointment hey y'all sorry the uh camera's a little cloudy um i forgot to wipe it off before i turn the camera on sorry but um i'm on my way to my appointment so um i should be there in four minutes it says um i can already tell you like where i'm going I would say this, the the area I'm going to, I like the area. I actually do some shopping out here, um, you know, whether it's grocery store or, you know, Goodwill. Um, there's some other stores. Michael's is out this way. Um, but I can already tell you this is probably one that I won't choose because the commute is a bit much for me. Uh, I'm just being honest. Um. From my home to this location, it's 20 minutes, and that's on dry land. So you can imagine what it is when it's... Um, In a quarter mile, turn right onto Plymouth Boulevard. So you can imagine what it's like during the winter. One thing I can say, I would be going against traffic, I believe. So like, yes, yeah, so I would be going out into the suburb when the suburb folks are coming into the city Turn and vice right versa. Plymouth Boulevard. Dude, get out my way. Jeez. I mean, can you turn? Lord Jesus, he got a green light and he up here acting like a dink a dink. Anyhow, anyway. In a quarter mile, turn left onto 35th Avenue North. So, the commute, um, I'm already not liking. But it is what it is. But I'll talk to you guys more once I leave the place. Um, I got one more stop before I turn. So, I mean, it's it's in a great area. 
And honestly, like my parents are going to be living in this area, so it'll be ideal, um, especially if I had Miss Pina school out here. So, is my turn? No. Dang, I thought this was the turn. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this would be ideal if, if Miss Pina's school was out here. You know, my parents are gonna be out here somewhere. Well, they're a little further over, but anyway, yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Take the next left onto 35th Avenue North, then turn right. Sorry about that. So yeah, so anyway, I love the area. Don't get me wrong. Right, then turn right. Turn right, then turn right. There's children up in here. What the world? No, I don't want to be working to buy kids. I'm just saying. So let me see where I'm going. I forgot what the suite number is. Oh, boy. There's all kinds of places out here. I'm going to have to look at my thing because I don't remember what the suite number is. Your destination is on the right. Well, I know that much. Okay, well, y'all, and I'm all dark and stuff on here. Lord have mercy. Let me find out what the suite number is. I think that's it right there. 3530. Yep. Anyway, anyhow. Um there we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, so I got about nine minutes before I need to be up in there. Um, I don't mind the area, but the commute is going to be a bit much, especially especially if they are not flexible with schedule. If they are a hard, fast, 9 to 5, 8 to 4.30, you know, 30-minute lunch, it's not going to work. I need to be able to, you know, do what I can do. So anyway, let me go, and I will see you guys when I come back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, <laughs> it was all of 30 minutes. Um, yeah, no. Because here's the thing. When I first read the description, I was like, oh, yeah, this be great, and, you know, sign on bonus, and blah, 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 blah. But then after I had applied, <laughs> okay, after I had applied, then I got contacted for an appointment. So I was like, okay. I went back and reread everything. And then I realized it said something about 25 to 50% travel. I said, travel? Huh? Baby, let me tell you. They want me to travel to some rural areas by myself in my car. Lies. <laughs> what did I tell y'all? I live where? Minnesota. Not only that, but the owner of the company has bought a house over in somewhere in Wisconsin. And it is for employees to stay at because at least every six weeks, I would have to go to Wisconsin and stay for five days. Baby, every six weeks, you talking about boss lady gotta leave boss man and Miss Peanut. Every six weeks. Baby, no. Mm-mm. Especially because one, I'm driving. Two, I'm probably the only chocolate drop they see. And then talking about what where it's at is a not is a it's a town. It's not ch no. She can come uh -huh. She had to be offering me some. When I tell you she gotta be offering me some money, I'm talking about some money, honey. I'm talking about where I could close my business money. I mean, <laughs> are you kidding me? So my main office would be out here. K 
okay there would be two of us and we would alternate going to the different and the person the other person I would be working with she's been with the company 20 years she's an empty nester so that means she's a baby boomer nope that's not the one that's not the one y'all that's not the one I was like, you got to do what now? Come again? What? Oh, no. And then these other places, she said I would be going to two different places here within Minnesota, but they have a location also in South Dakota. And I would be driving. Not like I would get a ticket, air, airline ticket and fly and get a car over there. No, baby. I said, so how do y'all do it? I said, now you know we live in Minnesota, right? How do y'all do it during the winter? Tell me, well, if there's a snowstorm coming, no, we wouldn't want you to go. But yes, we do go back and forth. Oh, lies, lies, girl. That's not the one, boo-boo. Mm-mm. So, that appointment was a dud. She said she's gonna got a few more and she's gonna get back to people by Friday, honey. She can miss me. She can throw my number in the trash. No. And she, and here's the thing, though. They want me. Here's the thing. That's the reason why she called me. They want me. And I'm just like, you talking about little old chocolate drop trying to go where? Baby, bad. But that's the end of this video, okay? I just wanted to, you know. Now, I'm going to keep working while I'm working until something else come along. Now, I will say, I have put out two other applications. One is actually for the district, uh, school district. I'm trying to get in there. I'm really trying to get in there. Like, seriously trying to get in there. Um, so, we shall see. And then the other one is for another company. But... As of right now that nobody has called or whatever so you know I gotta wait and see about those two so we'll see I don't know right now I'm just gonna continue on with what I'm doing and when I see something definitely put my feelers out there I'm very particular about what I'm looking for I mean yeah so we shall see I don't know but in the meantime in between time yeah I'm so irritated right now, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm glad I went. And basically, it would be what I, I mean, I, oh, I wouldn't be doing payroll, I would be doing strictly HR, but hey, and she wants me, like she saw my resume, she was like, I kid you not, I applied, and the next, was it the next day? I applied at night. Yes, it was the next day. She contacted me. What's your availability? I would like to meet with you. I was like, because you know how some stuff is automated. You know how they had like automated comments. No, she was like, what's your availability? I would love to meet you. Okay. I told her about what I do and where I've been and whatever, whatever. You know, gave her the boss lady. Shimmy Shay. Child. And she was like, I don't need to ask, you know, I can see your resume. I, I uh, How do you deal with this? How, you know, then of course, you know, the conflict and this and that, whatever. Child, the woman want me, but I'm just like, I guess if I was an empty nester, but even still, I, I mean, I would have to, my husband would have to come with me. You want me to spend five days away from my husband? Look, in a rural area, Baby, I'm going locked and loaded. Do you hear me? Every time I go, I'm going to have my side piece. And I ain't talking about no man either. I'm talking about that piece of steel, baby. A little chocolate me by myself. Girl, listen. Listen. Do you hear me? So anyway, that be it for this video, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Child, I'm sitting here thinking about it like, there's no way in, on God's green earth. And to be away from my child? I'm like, I can barely be a night away from Miss Pena, let alone, and I know, don't be.
before anybody say, when she getting older and she gonna be going off to college, she ain't going, she, she gonna be right there with her mama. I mean, she might, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, chat please. I've been trying to figure out how I can take her with me. Can we get some distant learning and she could be sitting and doing her work while I'm working? Chat, listen. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right, y'all. Well, let me go ahead and figure out how to get home. And uh, I will just talk to y'all in a new video. Bye, guys.